Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Again MRI. This is a short video showing some fluid in the shoulder joint. Uh, yesterday I had shown a video that had fluid within the um, subcoracoid bursa, and that was a bursa here beneath the coracoid process. I said that sometimes it can be hard to, to tell that fluid apart from fluid in the superior subscapularis recess. So in the prior case, there was fluid here beneath the coracoid process. It went down here in front of the subscapularis. Here's the subscapularis muscle and tendon. And the other fluid collection called the superior subscapularis recess fluid within the joint. It goes forward, hanging over the subscapularis. It goes beneath the coracoid process. This part of the shoulder joint, this anterior recess, is called the superior subscapularis recess. Here's the subscapularis. It's superior. And again, it is like a saddlebag, hangs over the top of it and goes beneath the coracoid process. And again, it communicates with the joint. Now in this patient, they have a really complex joint diffusion with this scar tissue. It looks like a spider web almost down here. And uh, they have a distension of down here, the axillary pouch, and the distension of this part of the joint, which is again the superior subscapularis recess. Now, you'll note there's a little bit of fluid underneath that. And this little fluid collection may be within that subcoracoid bursa, but if you see fluid that's communicating with the joint, hangs over like a saddlebag, that's a recess called the superior subscapularis recess. If you see it not communicate with the joint and hang down here lower along the front of the subscapularis muscle and beneath the coracoid, that's a fluid in the subcoracoid bursa or subcoracoid bursitis. That's much, much less rare. And that's it. Thank you very much.